enriching those items that's on the shelf. I'm gonna go shopping that I'm an inch or two shorter all the time. So I wish I could have <laughs> an elevator shoes goes up and down when I need to. And I'm just putting holes in them because I will show you what I use this for. The good thing about this mug is that coffee stays hot longer because of the way it's shaped. And also I think because of the amount of coffee that's in it. It takes a long time before it gets cold. I have this plant here which I bought in January and was only a small plant when I bought it. And now it's been growing outside, out in the frost. And after winter, this is what happens to it. This is called Princess Alice with bumps. But all the time, what, six months now, I haven't even seen a single bump showed up. So it's almost <laughs> a year before probably any bump. So when buying plants with bumps, I believe you have to find ones that's already got a bump. So it's always pays to buy a mature plant than a small one. Because in this case, you can see that I don't think I'll have any chance of getting a bump at all. Okay, the budge is talking on top of me again. So anyway, I better just go outside to, to shut up Pedro. <laughs> Quiet, baby P. Good windy day, my lovelies. <laughs> it's a bit late, isn't it? But I go outside and all of a sudden, I feel the wind on my face and I'm happy. <laughs> okay, look, now, did I clean that? No, I still haven't cleaned my... What do you call that thing there? My little fish. My mirror. <laughs> because it's been raining. And the only time it's not raining is when... Oh, look. It's when uh, we have appointments. But anyway, this one, I have five of them. This string of hearts. My serapeggia. And this is the variegated one. And I thought, I'll just take one out and see what happens if it will still get cold because we're not going to have frost anymore but we're still having a La Nina weather. This Medusa here, look how beautiful the color is. I just took it out of the clutches of that rope that I hang it up on and put it behind me where it can get rain on because it was raining all night last night and then I thought I'll take you out so you can have a bit of a drink and guess what happened? The rain stopped. Anywho, okay, what is this one? This one is Radescancia noviculares. I think I pronounced that correctly, but anyway, if not, we'll fix it. Anyway, this one's now is, look at them, they're all like dead from winter. And now the spring is sprung, it is trying to spring out. Okay, so that one is nice and red, look, but beautiful, but beautiful plant. And this one, I actually had this growing in my 50% UV shade cold area and it sort of died. So I hang it up here and also there's miss a plant missing there. What is that one? This one, see, I also took it out last night. This is the Sedum Halotifiastrum Seboldii Medio Varigatum. So it's very wrong name, <laughs> very long name. And look. You kind of look different, so maybe it will grow and go back to its old ways. I'm trying to think what you looked like before. You used to be variegated, but now, hang on, I'll just put that back there because I'm just going to hand water you with rainwater. That would be better. I have been collecting lots of rainwater because we've been raining a lot or we've been getting lots of rain. Okay, don't drop. Okay, you stay there. Echevria Jade Point. So I bought this plant from someone and oh look, it looks like it's variegating because I have a jade point and based on the photos online, there seem to be different versions of jade point. So this is one version, which is quite long and another shorter version. I think I potted it up, but I don't know where I put it. But anyway, this one now, I bought this one from Ikea with no name and it seems to be variegating and I could not find similar plants because agavoides is a very difficult plant to grow in the sense that it can have many looks 
And speaking of different looks, I just found another Agavoidis. This one that I bought from someone and it's called Giselle. Now Giselle here has uh, I acquired this same time as the princess bump thing inside. But this one uh, is peach green. I got this one from Jocelyn Ainsworth. But if I look closely, these two plants are identical. Is it actually the same plant and people are just giving them whatever names they want i'm guilty of doing that because i give my plants different names but it is for my own use and if i were to give my plants away to someone or sell it to someone i would tell them this one i got with no name so whatever name i put on a plant i always stipulate that this is my own given name so and the problem with that, I think, is that a lot of people will take it on as gospel and say, okay, this is peach green and this one is Giselle. So basically, I think they are one and the same plant. This one is grown out in the frost and the sun, full sun, and this one is grown here in the shade, but it's starting to color up as well because I am acclimatizing it to get it ready to go out into the big wide world into the open sunny area. This is my Ionian Fiesta and lately there's a plant that I've been lusting after which I didn't get okay I didn't get mainly because well it's called Super Bang and I didn't get it because so this is what Super Bang looks like and this is my Fiesta so if I look at the sides or the back leaves, it kind of looks like, look at that. If you just forget about the center one, because I have this growing here protected or partially protected. So it does get afternoon sun and lots of bright light, but for most part, it is protected. It's under cover sort of thing because I've got overhead covering and this yellowing stripes on the edges kind of look like super bang so i wonder if super bang and fiesta like many other plants that have different names but look very very similar to each other this is echeveria ghost 61 and this is my first echeveria ghost 61 and how come it's smaller compared to these two <laughs> search me <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. So I decided now I'm going to put these two plants together into one pot. But in saying that, I also have this plant that I got with no name. <laughs> so let's talk about no name plants. Anyway, this plant now looks like from what information I gathered online, this could be a Pachyveria schedicarii, another form of schedicarii. Now, if I take, say, this plant here, which is another gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful plant, only this one is in a green form. Now, I have a plant here which is similar to this one. So I bought these ones with no name on different times. Now, that one, my Subcarimbosa LAU 026, this actually got hit by the frost. It was in a protected area and I put it here and I bought it many moons ago and I haven't reported it. It's still in its pit moss and you can see that the plant is struggling but maybe it's got a lot to do with the fact that I exposed that to the frost and I'll just put you next to this frost killed, <laughs> still alive bluet. So any free leaves, not good for my area because the frost um, loves them or dies from the frost but anywho this one now so this one i got with no name and it's just beautiful it's got that soft green tone with pink edges and sort of a chubby sort of have growth lines on the back and sometimes at the front here so it's quite a beautiful plant depending on what your idea is beautiful but to me everything is beautiful i see the beauty in everything so anyway this one now, you can see the babies. Look, the pink. So it's just makes me wonder. I wonder if they are the same plant and if they are grown, whether they, it's a bit like having siblings. So if there's a, my grandmother had 
12 children. And the last one, the youngest, my auntie Luz and Luna, they are identical twins. And uh, apart from the two, all my aunties and uncles, they all, they look very different at all. So if you actually uh, see them, like when the family gathering, you wouldn't think that they came from the same family because they look so different. Some have got light skin, some have got dark skin. So some are tall, some are short. So it's basically the same with plants so one plant can come from or say especially seed grown say for example even tissue culture they can come from one parent but or one plant parent but they can grow different looks and this um, amithorum is rotting but it survived the frost look so this is actually loved by millibug and I do love the shape of this plant. It's nice and short and fat. But the problem is the mealybug loves it too. And oh, yeah, by the way, I'm supposed to repot this. So this is now Echeveria Fabiola. Oh, I should say Fabiosa. Okay, this one, oh, hang on. You have to go back because you're just in my way. You're supposed to get watered. I don't know if you got watered. Now, this one is Fabiola, which is looking fabulous. But, and it's about to flower as well, look, and you would think, is that another plant? No, they are flower, but you can harvest the leaves from the back, like so here, and that will grow into another plant. So this is very specific. Okay, Fabiola grows from leaves, because not all Echeveria will grow from leaves. Some will take longer, and some don't even produce any. Now, very few, but they still... Uh, still the same. Some <laughs> are barren. Can't have babies. Okay. Now, if you look at this, look how beautiful and colorful that one is. Okay. Show me your face. Now, compared to this ones, they're beautiful as well, but they are cuttings. Look. So, okay. The sun's come out. Look. So, I actually taken the cuttings. I can't remember, to be honest when I took this but it's just uh, sometimes you get mealybug like that or remnants of mealybug but it doesn't matter it just makes the plant stronger so it's a bit like build up immunity so I'm supposed to pot this up or put them all in one pot and put them in the garden but the rain is stopping me from doing that so I have to duck in or duck out and see uh, how much I can do but anyway See, my coffee's still hot. <laughs> I better drink some. I'm just trying to put together the shelf now. So I finished cleaning up the uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three shelf. And I have put some of the plants now exposed to the element. So this one is a recent uh, acquisition. Pachyveria clavifolia cristata. So $12.00. I can't remember uh, where I got that one from, but anyway, anyway. <laughs> Hi, uh, the, these other ones, Luna Rosa. Oh, yes, let love grow. Yeah, yeah, let love grow. Yes, and this is actually a let love grow plant hole that I got from them. And that one is a freebie from, and that one is beautiful. Okay, what are you? Chi Chi Fuku Bini. Strictiflora cross lawi. Okay. Strictiflora cross <laughs> lawi. It did not look like this before. And this year, it kind of looks marvelous. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? And it makes me think with all this hybrid, like what I was talking about, they can have different looks. So this one is a hybrid between, of course, uh, Strictiflora and lawi. And those dots looks to me like it might have come from Riga. So maybe just like my Morticia here, which is probably the same hybrid. So this one is still gorgeous. Look at all those black freckles. Isn't that beautiful? So, but this one is an ebony hybrid of something. So maybe it's a Strictiflora ebony hybrid. Or maybe it's got crossed with a Riga. But Tango, 
Hello, you're looking beautiful. The center one's gorgeous. Grow, baby, grow. Oh, yes, there is. There is growing. Look, 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 look. There's a new baby in there. Yes, the reason why I was here. Yeah, I just remembered. See how this pot here, I'm just going to take this out. Okay. See, I put some foam there to prop it up. Because you can see the tango pot is moving. I don't know if you can see that, but... Ah, it's going to drop. <laughs> That's the reason why I need this. To go under here to prop that up there you go so there you go that's a bit level now Woo -hoo. so even this one here so that one is sinking it's what are you thinking about okay now I think it's sinking that I need a prop as well so that foam is no good because it's getting softer and softer but this plastic is fantastic okay for that one so that's what I do, but this one, you can just shake around the paradox, which is caressed. This one, we put you, cold fog. I have to change the label and make a smaller label that uh, can be inconspicuous. So I can, did I say what I just said? Yeah, inconspicuous. Now this one, look at that beautiful, it's flowering as well. What's your name? Menchaka Cross Robin, that one. Three, I bought three. So it costs me a pretty penny, but they are very pretty plants. I love red, red, red like fire. Now I need to put more pots here. Oh, fire. Look how beautiful this Nixana Varigata is gone jelly jam. Hey, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Look, oh, <laughs> I think. Yeah, they're still part variegated, I think. I don't know if you can see that, but I can't see it from my screen because I got my camera lifted up. So that one is a beautiful variegation. And that one is, I think, not variegated, but a lot of the baby ones, the smaller ones, are jelly jamming up. Just like the jelly jam here. And I have now put my trumpet. So pink trumpet and blue trumpet and there's a piggy face trumpet that I need to get but I can't get that until next year unless I find it at Bunnings really really cheap on my local hardware store then I will get it because I think they're only selling succulents now it has gone up in prices from $5.99 to $8.95 or something like that so anyway let's go to the other side I used to have two stricte flora now I only have this one this is beautiful plant, but it's very temperamental. So I had it growing out in the frost and in full sun, and she just wouldn't grow. I had another one before in a narrow neck pot, and that died. So this is the last of my stricte flora, and if it dies, I'm not getting it anymore. Some people can grow it really well, like Janet. <laughs> <laughs> this video of the stricta flora is strictly okay is uh dedicated to you okay because you've been requesting stricta flora so for me i find it difficult to grow now i've got two forms of subcurimbosa l a u o 3 o the small form and hang on i'll lift this up and the giant form so the giant form this bigger one it's a recent acquisition, but it's Subcarambosa Juslahuana, so it's the wrong name. So, giant form of O3O. Now, the small form, giant form. So, kind of look the same, but the small form is prettier. Maybe it's just the way I've grown it. So, but anyway, I've been hiding it from the element, so you can go there for now. So, this is my pretty section. Now, my pretty section here, okay, I've got pots here with legs like that, so air can circulate circulate underneath but i do have pots like this which is my chihuahua yensis variegated look at this gorgeous but hang on don't drop it see this is a variegated chihuahua yensis now this one the pot i use doesn't have any feet so what i do is i'll take my do i get the big one or the small one this one will do so that's why it needs the hole, probably another hole there, but doesn't matter. But I'll just lift this up, okay? And then now I can put that there. So that way, uh, maybe I need to put some holes in the bottom as well. So the, the, the point is, plants need 
to have air circulation so even this one's here so that one there it's okay because I just actually reported this but this one normally I carved out a hole or drill a hole on the bottom of this goblet but that one there there I have to go back into the drawing board hang on I drop it I drop it oh look at you so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing some arranging okay arrangements not really arrangement just do you call an arrangement putting some plants in a pot and packing them all up and say oh I've got I made an arrangement so is that what you call an arrangement I don't know so to me it's just putting <laughs> plants or potting them up now this one my bluebird monstros this is all I've grown them all myself these three monstros which reminds me now my super bomb variegated I don't know if you're gonna variegate back looks like it but it's still alive that one the last leaf is dead that is the variegated one okay you can grow there please grow please grow back the weather's warming up you can grow back again in here what I have here is I have this what do you call yourself <laughs> Lilacina and Lolita, sorry. Lolita, it looks like a Lilacina, isn't it? So many plants that look so different. I'm telling you with this sibling thing. Okay, coming from the same parents but looks different. Okay, stay there. Now I use that thing there to prop it up. See, that big, okay. But this part here has got holes on the side anyway. So it has like a semi feet. Can you see that? So that's why it's okay but I could actually put that there because that is my only Lolita propagation so I still haven't found well I didn't really look for my Lolita I was looking for my Lolita before but that's my only leaf propagation that's successful so this one now is high but it will do for now because I put it on the opposite side and I just put that up there okay like that to secure it and at the back is my Relena Relena somehow reminds me of House of Dragons don't know why that young girl who's going to be Queen what's her name <laughs> never mind so my Sinoclasula unimensis is being hidden by copper rose or multicaules multicaules and what are you i think you're kind of handy i'm just about to drop this okay i'll push you there because this one with the weed oh, oh that is heavy oh my goodness i think they're all dead i'm almost running out of battery power so this is the flower from my sinocrasula yunanensis or yunamensis from china i think they're native to china and look I still got one left <laughs> so I can harvest that okay let's go do you have some more because this is what I don't like about plants oh see this was from a crested see, see the crested <laughs> the crested unanensis okay so this is still the flower they flower and they die and they're very easy to grow but I haven't got any more left because they've been crowded up by this plant here which is i think are you a white nun i can't remember what you are the label somewhere behind there so anyway are you a minima can't be you're quite big for a minima so i think this is a white nun so anywho that's all i've got so from that one last plant will many unanensis grow i wonder so anyway guys i need to extract that and i have to go because i need to extract that but i need to clean this up as well and i have to repot my alice okay so this is how windy it is because it's this gate getting slammed by the wind but anywho just see look you are like Pedro, because every time I put the camera on Pedro, you do the same. You go quiet. Pedro keeps talking when the camera's, when he thinks the camera's not on him. But then the minute I put the camera on him, stops talking. So anywho, that's all I got for you. There you go, Sinocrasula hedgehog. So is there more babies? No, that is the last of my Sinocrasula. But this weed here, I couldn't help it. 
I just have to remove this. I have to shake it all off. Okay. I need two hands. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. I'll see you on the next video. And then now we're going out. We're buying some rope. <laughs>